kitchen ideas. And you're right, but we don't <laughs> do right ideas here. We do town and city do versus ideas. Lucina. Three, town and city? One, go! I get it. <laughs> do you he, get it? He likes this stage. I he feel loves like. this stage. He, he, he likes this stage. He likes Smashville uh, quite a lot. And just like it offers a lot to Lucina's uh, consistent ways of ending stocks. Like a ton of back air. Edge guarding is so, so uh, encouraged on this stage because of the small side blast zones. The platform layouts of both, uh, all of them benefit Lucina on top of just transitioning to FD is perfectly fine for her. Like, there's no point of which Mr. E and Lucina feel bad on this stage. Now, RJ's looking a lot more comfortable in this matchup, yeah. actually going for those jab one checks into the grab. But this is, I think, something that he's just more accustomed to versus Olimar where he was flailing a lot. And even checking the approach on Mr. E with the charge shots. I would certainly hope so. Like, Olimar changes the way that Samus has to do everything. Meanwhile, Lucina, her greatest strength is also her biggest weakness. She is never going to surprise you. Well, now, now. Mr. E has those moments. I think he will be caught e by surprise. He is a really, really good player. And he's got some really devious mix-ups. But none of them are being like, oh, man, I've never seen Lucina do that before. <laughs> like, oh, I've seen Lucina die, too. Oh, yeah, that's a big, a big uh, catch of the landing there from RJ, but instantly following up with that Nair one into back there. Oh, this is... Oh, okay. nice dodge to get back. Yeah. Hunting for a reset as opposed to going for any uh, further follow-ups with those up airs. And dangerous, and the air comes down though. E trying to pin RJ down in this corner, but Sam is just so floaty, and the airspeed maneuverability is so nice from E. Where were these bombs mix-ups like in Olimar's game? What, what is happening? This is a whole different Samus. I love it. Yeah, it's. Wildly, wildly different. Oh, the, the down tilt into down smash. Town of City coming in clutch. He's so consistent at that. Just like setting up a tech scenario and just making it work for him. Ooh, jab one into dash back. Charge beam, though. All right, what do we see here? Pressuring at ledge. The patented mystery move. Just hold shield at ledge. See what you do. I'm sorry, ah! the down air? I'm screaming. I'm screaming and I'm, cr I'm yelling and like down air just beating charge beam into spot dodge the forward smash. Like now that's something you haven't seen before. Sometimes, but that's not a Lucina thing. That's it, Mr. E. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> are we air dodging through? No, we are not. We're keeping things. Yeah, Mr. E. Not really safe. expecting that to trade there. There comes down, trying to keep RJ pinned in this corner. The back air sending to the other side of the stage. This Mr. E just choosing to go, choosing to go for the grab there. Just so ahead of the game up against RJ when it comes to like these Yomi levels, like these ideas of oh man, like what are you gonna do next? What are you preparing for? You're getting hit by all of these straight aerials and pokes when I'm on the ground, that means you're definitely going to neutral get a block. I can hold shield and react to that because I know you're trying to play extra careful, finds the grab. Like, just so pristine. I think what RJ is failing to do here and what Mr. E is so consistently good at is he's not really mixing up a lot of his options off stage. Like, as you yeah. see, he tried to come by like, the ledge like with a down air and, like, every single time. And I get it, he's trying to stop Mr. E from approaching and getting like a spike, but you gotta start doing something different. Maybe stalling with some bombs, maybe like doing the tether grab instead, like mix it up. And we're going to PS2. Excellent stage for Samus. Yeah, it's definitely a change up to be sure. And honestly, counterpicking against E, against Lucina in general, just like never really feels like your game, you're giving yourself too much of an advantage, but you're right. This is a very solid Samus stage. Oh, Not too low when you do that. Shake so. it off, RJ. Second stock. Yeah, you're going to have to make these stocks really, really count. Another of that same type of mix-up, though. I want to see RJ just dig into the bag of tricks a little bit more. Like some of these normal Samus things, like 
you're mixing up some of the real basics, like, oh, jab into pivot grab, but you're still doing, like, jab into dash back. Like, it's not changing Mr. E's counterplay or really shaking up his mental stack all that much. I mean, I think he's reaching into it, but he's realizing there's a hole in the bottom. Some things have kind of dropped out. Oh, no. Where did it go? Not the pockets. The down smash <laughs> comes out. Trying to read that jump, but Mr. E goes for no! the roll. That reads the roll in. It doesn't close out the stock here, though. He's a mind reader. Honestly, if Smash doesn't work out, he can be like, uh, you know, uh, um, the tarot reader or something. Yeah, fortune teller. Fortune teller, thank you. Down to no, we're not going to pressure the two frame. Instead, we're just going to anticipate RJ's panic option out of the corner. Neutral get up. No, going for the crap, but it misses the back air. That's what they were waiting for. And just Here we go. Really good stalling. Went. That's what you love to see. Gets back safely. Not pressuring the... Ooh! The reverse Dolphin Slash? Not killing, but puts him in a precarious position. Back out of the front. He is so ready, able, and willing to play the long game. Like, that's what I always enjoy about watching Mr. E, is that it's 195, and yeah, he's getting a little annoyed that that stock wasn't taken, but he's willing just to play it out for as long as necessary. Yeah, because he's in the lead. I mean, come on. RJ, RJ is oh, the one who's panicking big. here. Even at 195. Some good damage, though, from RJ in order to get some, some, at least a little bit going for him as he head into the final, potentially his final stock of this very successful Xeno 325 for him. But Mr. E trying to shut that down right where it started. The forward air comes out but doesn't connect. The screw attack a little bit early, but no punish. I do like the baits for, oh, okay. He's starting to get these screw attacks. He's starting to bait out the Dolphin Slash. RJ just needs to keep slowing this down. This Misses game is now molasses. No jump. He choosing to do jump back airs instead of pressure the drop zone. Just all about consistency. Jump dancing play, by the way. Beautiful stuff. It's a good mix up. As long as you don't do it consistently. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh the bounce. Good get up. And there we go. Even stocks. RJ can start doing this, pulling it back as long as they get back on stage. Okay. Down to yet again, but it's just no longer there. Oh, I love that mix-up using the char the charge storage cancel on landing. No way, no way. Oh, that was risky. I don't think I've seen E successfully punish a screw attack in this game, and that's kind of tough. It means that RJ potentially pulled these trigger. The dolphin slash gets him out of a lot of danger, though. Oh, they landed the nair one oh, and read the air dodge in. Into it. Oh, that so was a nice. good handshake. Oh, yeah. You can't be mad at that. Like, no. After multiple, you're, whenever you get hit by Nair 1, you're like, oh, confirm is coming. I better just air dodge to make sure that E has to be framed tight with it. But man, when you get your soul red like that, which, I mean, and it happened multiple times in this game, you just kind of have to shake the hand and be like, yeah, you got it, sir. Yeah, well, RJ is going to be VOD reviewing to making sure to see sure. what exactly went wrong. And I feel like there are just a lot of moments where he was starting to pull this back, get the download. Like you were saying, he was uh, managing to get those screw attacks there on that last stock, which you were saying like Mr. E wasn't able to really punish them. But RJ wasn't really hitting them in the other games as well. He, yeah. he was just whiffing them. Yeah, they were whiffed, but no punish on E means that RJ can still like do it as a reversal. Mm -hmm. But I digress. Solid, continually solid stuff from Mr. E as he tries to power his way through the loser's bracket. He will play against Burst, not Ooh. I win, Burst for loser semis. Winner of that plays LRA Start. Winner of that will play Sean for the winner of Xeno number 325. Up uh, the one before Let's Make Big Moves. But that will do it for us two as we pass it off to another pair of New York casters in Monteneva and Player 4. How you feeling, Swiss? I'm feeling great. You know what? I cannot wait to go to Let's Make Big Moves. I agree. Get the whole vibes because if this is like anything to go on, like here it's been great. It's been like the old Xeno of like yesteryear yes, from what people have been telling me. Super nostalgic. So like you're going to pack that energy.